Hello everybody, so today I'm going to, to make a video because many people um, told me that they don't know ex uh, what exactly to do to get started with um, the plugin uh, WP plus X to create a scene for squeeze page. So uh, I'm going to create a very simple squeeze page. It is, it is something like this. It is very simple, but after watching this video, I think around 10 minutes, you will understand how to use this plugin to create a more uh, complex uh, squeeze page. So for example, I want to create this page. So I want, uh, you can see here, we have an image on the right, and text, 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 a form on the left, so that is how uh, we first have the layout of the page in your mind before we start building. So for example, uh, I can see that we have kind of 50-50 division here. So uh, here going to my uh, dashboard of WP plus X, you can see this is the the, the blank a blank row so you need to split it 50 50 so click on edit icon here at the row and go to layout select 50 50 and i'm going to increase the size of the page a bit so for example i click on page settings and uh, increase it to like 700 and you can notice the row is now wider like this. Now we start dragging the elements. So we have text, 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 three text, and a form. So let's do this. A paragraph, 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 and a form, of course. So the, okay. So I would uh, suggest that uh, if you have a new line, you would want to drag a new text element to the for to the page. So here we may have four text elements: one, two, three, four. Something like that. More. So what? What does it say? One twenty-five thousand visitor. So in order to edit the text, you click here over it on the, the element and click on the pencil icon drag this on back so it said one to five thousand visitors okay something like that this may have different color green okay we increase the size to something like that maybe bigger okay and this one should be per month make it even bigger and six how does it look per month even bigger okay so uh the six okay it is possible i'll show you how Oh, sorry. Show you how. Okay. Then something. Okay. This enter. We enter your email to get the insight. Like that. And finally, the form. This is usually the autoresponder form you get from your autoresponder service or you can uh, simply put the short code of uh, contact form 7 in if you don't have an autoresponder service but in this case I'm going to add a form very simple form let's say this is uh, the HTML form I get from my autoresponder service provider and you can see that uh, when we hover on the form, we have the form 
com form container here and click on edit icon here you put the new form in so we have it here so okay and on the right it is very simple we have only one image so I drag the image here click on edit change image and select an image from my library you can um, you should have your own message like, let's say I choose this one okay something like that so I'm going to style this a little bit we need, we need to increase the padding so this uh, this will have more breathing room so when we hover on the the page like this you have this is the row editor and here we have the square here which is the, the option uh, click on this and you see the options to edit this part this column of the row now we have as you remember we have two columns so I click here I edit this column I click here I edit this column so I click on this icon I'm going to add some padding go to style maybe top 20 you see the padding from top increase left wait 10 and bottom 20 okay and the right 10 something like that you may not uh, see the padding very visible because we have white background on white um, on white you know this is white and this also is white so it is uh, quite difficult to see but now we change the background color of the row to something like this you see the pattern clearer and we can uh, add the padding for the image too style padding 20 bottom 20 10 10 something like that come on okay you can also change the styling for this button make it um, no, I don't want uh, 3d buttons and change color to action which is a screen or highlight yellow or red caution something like this I think this is good so that is how you can create a very simple squeeze page or landing page for your site the video is very simple this one uh, doesn't look exactly like this one but you know the principle and uh, knowing this simple principle you can create a very complex squeeze page so thank you for watching and uh, i see you in the next video